Third quarter seemed like D'Angelo Russell once again kind of got it cooking a little bit. You guys were able to weather that storm. What was the difference this time around as opposed to back in Brooklyn? He played 23 minutes instead of whatever he <laughs> played last time. Um, I don't know. You know, he got it. He did get it cooking in, in both of those third quarters for whatever reason. Um, and those were tough shots, but you know that's what they do. They're they've been excellent in the third quarters and went 38 on us again. Again, I thought. You know, a little bit like the other game, the last time we played them, um, we were really good first, second, and fourth, and not as good in the third. But, you know, I thought for the most part we played pretty well tonight. And hey, speaking of shot making, Marcus Smart, Aaron Bates, particularly in the first half, really kind of kind of carried you guys for the first stretch. Was it? Those are our splash brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the uh, – those guys have been shooting it. You know, Bangs – probably puts up as many attempts in practice as anybody on our team and um, so it's good to it's good to see those go down and then Marcus has been shooting it great all year every time Marcus lets it go you feel good about it. Coach uh, very rarely do you see as much zone as you guys saw tonight what are the challenges of, of facing that type of defense and how often do you guys work on that um, on a day-to-day -day basis? Well I can't tell you the last time we went live in practice doing anything um, you know, it's probably been since you know early December. So um, we put five coaches out on the floor today, and in our walkthrough at 4:30, jog through some things we thought would be good against it. Showed a lot of film on it, so um, didn't feel like we attacked it very well from a mentality perspective at Brooklyn. We've been zoned a lot this year, and that's that game at Brooklyn was really the only game I didn't feel good about our attack. Um, but I thought we attacked it way better tonight. And uh, did a good job of finding, you know, points in the paint, which you want to do against the zone. Um, hi, coach. Uh, so Celtics have already finished fifth games of the regular season and wrapped the fifth of the Eastern Conference. So does this meet your expectation? My expectation is just more focused on getting better, and so we'll see where we are at the end of the year. Um, you know, we've had some moments that haven't that we've needed to improve from. We've had some moments where we played pretty well and we'd like to bottle it up, but time will tell, you know, and, and uh, you know, hopefully we're playing better at the end. Brian, right um, Gordon's struggled in the last couple of games, and it seems like it's kind of maybe spread to his confidence. What do you see from him, and would you envision any changes? Would you want to play shimmy a little more? How do you, how do you look at that? I think you're going to just keep playing him. And, you know, ultimately, he's going to have some ups and downs. And he's had a couple of games that the ball didn't go in as much. But I thought he was active tonight. I thought he did some good things. And when that, when that ball goes in, he'll feel a lot better. And it, it'll, it'll, it'll look a lot better on paper. So, um, you know, ultimately, we've got a lot of wings. A lot of the wings played more tonight um, and against Golden State. But there's going to be nights where, you know, we'll count on him to close the game because he's really got it rolling. Uh, Jalen Brown seems to be finishing a lot better in transition. Is that something that you guys have been working on? Has it been the focus of his? In all of our full court high energy practices that we've had, we've been working on that. Um, we haven't practiced, so he does that in his one-on-one -on -one stuff and in his. Um, sometimes they, they play, you know, one-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one with three guys, but um, we do do it as part of their workout. But at the same time, um, those are things that I think guys don't get as many reps on um, in live action during the season, uh, which is an unfortunate part of the schedule. Uh, but they do, we, we do get the pads out and we do it as much as we can without, you know, taking any energy away from the games. Coach, they had uh, 88 points going in the fourth quarter. You guys held into six points in the first nine minutes of the fourth. What was the key to that defensive stretch that let you guys pull away? We played a lot. I thought we played a lot better, a lot more purposeful. Um, I thought Baines protected the rim for us great in that stretch, even with five fouls. And um, and then that, that allowed us to get out and run a little bit, which was good too. Um, I guess after you give up 38 in the third, you've got to start guarding a little bit better. Um, and so six in the first nine minutes was a good thing. Um, you guys had a franchise record, 16 blocks. And then a few weeks ago, you had 15 against Phoenix. Just what, what makes this team so strong? Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. I think the bottom line is, is our bigs usually play with good position. Um, and our wings do a good job of staying in place. 
So I'd say that those are the two things that allow you a chance to block shots, unless you're just jumping all over the place, and that usually ends up in fouls more than blocks. But our positioning has been pretty good, and our bigs, you know, Al Baines do a great job of, you know, waiting for the ball to come to them. Thank you. <coughs>